Yeah, so CNN, I took a picture of this CNN videographer, so he's taking one of me, fair trade, I guess. He looks so angry, I don't get it. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. You ready, Ms. Batch? You ready? Oh, I was going to interview you. I thought you said, I thought you said yes. No, I'm sorry. I, I can't, but thank you so much. Uh, can you do it within the next 10 minutes? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm working. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. <clears throat> CNN, I took a picture of this CNN videographer, so he's taking one of me, fair trade, I guess. He looks so angry, I don't get it. So are we going to stare each other down? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure he's a videographer. He could be a producer for all I know. I was gonna have I was gonna ask Dana Bash uh, was uh, first question was uh, was that just a slip of the tongue the other night when you uh, said that uh, you were worried about Ron Paul winning and I guess the other question I would have is can you work for CNN I mean can a person who's not pro-government work for CNN is it possible uh, so those have been the two questions the answers to which you will not hear tonight
can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.